Hello everybody, this is Robert. Uh, it's getting high time to do some new videos. It's been quite a while since I did uh, anything and news has changed quite a bit. Uh, so to start it off, I'll just quickly make a video about uh, our new app image. Uh, we didn't used to have uh, binary versions of news on, on our download page, but we do now. So here's the uh, home page, and I clicked on the download, which brings us to the release page. And first we have here current master. That's uh, the uh, an app image, if I expand the asset here, an app Im image that is built for uh, on the development branch. So it's for um, what we are currently developing. So usually it's, uh, it's, it's fine to use this, but there might be problems. So if, you're, if you don't want to have problems, you shouldn't uh, use it. But then again, uh, all the new cool features uh, come there first. So if you're interested in that, the, this is the one to try. But for most people, I would say stick to uh, the release versions. And now we have 4.0. And if we scroll down a bit, we have the app image here. So I'll click on that one. And save it. My download directory. And we'll change the terminal here. Uh, first, we have a, a tab here with uh, where we can see that I have Jack started and with uh, some settings for it, nothing special. Uh, we change to the download directory, and you can see here we have the downloaded news binary. And there's one thing missing before we can run this. It needs to have the executable bit set. And this can be changed in several ways. I will show the way through the terminal because that's uh, easiest to show from here. You use the schmod command, and you add a plus x and the file you want to change, which in this case is our news binary. And I'll press enter to do ls minus l again. You can see that there are now some x's here, which means that this is executable. We could do this uh, through the GUI also, but uh, ah, it's good to learn the terminal. Terminal is the Linux way. And I also recommend that when now that we're starting news, uh, starting it from the terminal, uh, well, if you put it like this, uh, applications in Linux tend to print stuff in the terminal. So if something bad happens, it's not a good, it is a good idea to have started it from the terminal. There might be some important information there that we can make use of. So I'll press enter here and start up the newly downloaded news and just let it uh, grind a little bit. And here we are. And uh, if you have started news any time before, you will notice that this is not the default look when you start uh, a fresh news installation. I have set it to open uh, my own uh, template, which brings me some, I, I, when I do a song, I want to have some e e easy access to, I have two inputs defined and I have a guitar track voice track, bass track, and another guitar. All these are connected through groups. So I can have uh, a lot of uh, guitars recorded from this one. So I'll just uh, duplicate that one and it will connect to the group and from the group it will connect to the output. But that's outside the scope of this very short tutorial. So. I can show you how it looks when you start it from default, like this. There's nothing here. So uh, 
we can just to make some noise we can right click here in the track list these are the track types that can be added and uh, we can add, also add synths and now there's a dialog uh, which I very much recommend instead of going through this uh, sometime, sometimes very big menus uh, using the dialog and typing what you want uh, is much easier if you use the we try the surge synthesizer tool one with the VST version like that now we have a synthesizer and we right click again add a MIDI track and to make uh, we cut some corners I won't uh, exactly describe what I'm doing but I have an external keyboard connected so uh, we'll just quickly double click here on the on the port column of the synthesizer to bring up its GUI and I'll change it to some uh, weird EXEP that must be good and uh, I'll click on this ring which means input monitor which means that the external keyboard uh, is connected to this MIDI track and when the monitor is uh, enabled it the external keyboard will be routed to the synthesizer you can see here that the synth these are connected together the, uh, uh, if I right click here on the MIDI track you can see that they can connect the MIDI track to different outputs I have XP MIDI here that's an uh, external USB to MIDI device that I have my external keyboard connected to and this is an internal thing for routing MIDI inside the computer and we have the search synthesizer and I won't change anything we'll, we'll leave it at that and if I now uh, press some keys on my external keyboard we should hear some noise some very light loud noise Yeah, it makes noise. I think we'll stop it there for this one, make it short, and I'll see you in the next one.